That is, uh, that is that confirmed. We must be getting very near the end of the game now, then. Wait, isn't this where he lives? Oh, it totally is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How's this gonna go? Is he not at home? You can pick locks? Huh. God damn these motion controls! Motion controls! They're so bad! They're so horrible! They make me want to die! Fucking origami kill me, please! You touch, girl. There we go. Fuck me. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Anything in here? No. Oh, take the inhaler. <laughs> Don't let him have his inhaler. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. Feels bad. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Huh. Wait, what was the other option there? Wait, is there a secret fucking compartment? Apparently. Hello. A whole secret room? Oh, Jesus. Found the typewriter. When the parents came home from... Oh, that's what... Yeah. Huh. This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. Makes sense. You don't have to go to a flower shop to keep buying orchids. Sean Mars. Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. Some kind of a well filling up with rain, slowly drowning him. Oh, there's not much time left. There, there, there must be something here showing where the well is. Shit, it needs a password. Origami. John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell? That's is a bit that? of a fucking leap. An address. It's got to be where Sean Mars is. Hurry. There's no time to lose. Roosevelt Road. I can't remember which one we went to as Ethan. Did we go to the right one? Ah. So you found my little secret. It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. 
Do what your father couldn't do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh. Spot to smash through or something? God damn motion controls making me hit the fucking Wait, what? Oh god, is he burning down the whole place? I don't understand. What do you want me to do with this thing? Like, there's no other options. Oh. Oh! Good job. Let's fucking go. Wait, that's that door's nope, there's a big old fire in there. Can we not get out the window? Yeah, you're gonna wanna take the window. It's gonna hurt. But it's not gonna hurt as much as this fucking fire. Wait, really? Oh my god, just go! Don't stop! <laughs> what are you doing? Once you're in the fiery room, just fucking book it for the exit, my dude! On the second floor. I mean, she literally said she'll kill herself if she jumps, so I'm not going to do it because I assume that's the game saying, no, really, you'll kill yourself if you jump. But it really doesn't look like it should be that high. I was hoping for something like tall to land on or something. <laughs> kind of hard to mash R1 while holding those buttons as well. Really? I can't try... Oh, there we go. It wasn't giving me the option. Uh, 
Uh, something in the fridge? <laughs> Not sure what good this does me. Wait, is she getting in? Is that a viable solution? Are we Indiana Jonesing this shit? I guess it was a viable solution. Indiana Jones, eat your heart out. It's like, I fucking knew it would work. Oh boy. Uh, cool. Ethan. I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. Confirm. Because Norman Jaden already knows where he is. Ethan's the only one that doesn't. Oh, well, if it's not connecting, then call the other one. What? You only... <laughs> if it doesn't connect, you can't call the other person? It's like, oh, well, one person didn't pick up. I guess that's it. Very smart. Ultimate brain. Wow, okay. Well, we truly are in the end game now. Another flashback? Wait, this isn't a flashback? Oh, no, I guess we're playing as Ethan. <laughs> sure. Here we go. I don't even remember if I chose the right place to go to. Like it was a it was a one in three chance. And I don't remember. Sean! Sean! Jason! Jason! Sean! Sean! Oh my god, did I get it right? I did I one in three that shit? I won in three that shit. That's great. Fuck yeah. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. He'd sacrifice himself in order to save his son. Your father didn't need to <laughs> sacrifice himself. He just needed to oh, fucking get out his chair. Search, search. And then... I remember you. Ha, huh, he saw him yeet himself in front of a car. All those murders. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered just as much as my victims. Just as much as your victims. Okay. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. Why has he not said anything? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey. Well, good thing that we got the fucking correct address as him as well, and otherwise would I have been shot in the back there? Uh, what am I looking for here? I'm, I'm holding my controller out to the side of, uh where I'm sat instead of where I normally have it in front of me under the desk. 
so that I can do these motion controls and not fuck them up. Because, like, I imagine that the hardest shit is going to be around now. <laughs> Probably with lots of motion controls. Given that we are literally in the very end of the game. And I don't want to risk getting fucked by, like, it not registering because it hits the table or something. <laughs> <laughs> a boy. Sun save. GG. That was easier than I expected. Now let's fucking get this bitch. Madison's going to be on her way as well, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wow, he really did just yeet the both of them off. What a lucky landing. Why did he not just push him off? Come on, doing my- Oh my god! You should go into wrestling, mate! <laughs> All the cops underneath just watching. This is going well. Ah! Take your positions. The suspect is likely to be armed. Oh shit! Here's Madison. Personnel are ordered to shoot to kill. I repeat, shoot to kill. Everything's Action. coming together. The position, yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Hey, you there? What are you doing? Your mom. Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami hey, killer. What is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Now get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay. Imagine being that bad of a cop. You hear that they have proof of the person that the person they're about to murder is innocent. And they're like, yeah, just get him out of here. Oh my god, why does that one keep saying I fail when I do it every fucking time? That fucking go to the right and then up or go to the right and then down or whatever. So often it says failed, even though I do it. What? Motion controls? I guess it remains to be seen if uh, we really are going to die from this poison anyway. Like, I don't know if he was lying about the poison. Because if we really had just downed a fat vial of poison, why would he have tried to shoot us in the back? Because we'd be about to die anyway at this point. So I feel like, I feel like it wasn't actually poison. Because how the fuck would he even get his hands on lethal poison anyway? Oh, come on. We got there in time. Don't fuck with me. Cough up that water. <laughs> you little shit. That thing was not full. You had plenty of air. If you die anyway, that's your own damn fault. But you better not have. Is he actually dead? Is it? What? Surely not. We came to the right place. We couldn't have got here any sooner, I don't think. Okay. There we go. Well in, my son. Oh, 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 I thought you were gone. Oh. Dad, I, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. Oh. Oh. Sean. Ten minutes. <laughs> oh. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. 
Oh wait, ten seconds. I'm right there. I took the poison an hour ago, and I'm not dead. I mean, I don't think poison is accurate down to the second, but sure. If that was me and my watch had just hit zero, I'd be like, shit, it's gonna kick in soon. Not that- oh fuck, yeah, I'm fine! Ash, get her out of my face. Mars didn't do it for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Motion controls. Huh. <laughs> fuck, I hate motion controls so much! I'm very glad that I'm holding my controller really weirdly so I was able to do those. Crap. What do we do? General personnel, hold your fire. I repeat, hold your fire. Oh my god, I'm surprised you didn't tell us just fucking pop her in the head. What's going on? The cops. They're out there. They have the building surrounded. They'll shoot you if you go outside. I'll, I'll swim out line. through I'll this drain. I'll explain. You'll be dead before you can open your mouth. Look, we'll all go out together. What's FBI man up to right now? Aaron. They can't possibly shoot us. I have the evidence that proves your innocence. Of you. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought. That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. Are we still fighting up here? God damn. Here we go again. Oh my god, I literally, that one just refuses to work. I literally do it. It's so frustrating. Oh my god, it worked for once. Maybe it's because it was left instead of right. Oh, you're fucked now, bitch. Save me. Tempting though it is, it would not mean it would mean that Ethan didn't have someone to point at, right? Like if we kill him here, we can't question him, and maybe Ethan then goes down for it, even though he didn't actually do it. You know, gotta think bigger picture. Even though it would be immensely satisfying to let him drop into that fucking grinder, even though that would have been the greatest moment of my day. It would have probably fucked Ethan over. Oh no. Oh rip. Is he going in anyway? Are we going in after him? Oh shit, the bar. The bar got a save. Nice. Wow, okay. Well, fucking rip that guy then. Damn. Guess my choice didn't matter there at all. Feels bad. You let him drop, then he drops, and if you don't let him drop, you get an extra two quick time event button presses, and then he drops anyway. <laughs> Unfortunately, you got off that conveyor belt on the wrong side. The other side has a ladder. Hooray, we didn't get popped in the head. Love to see it. Alright. Happy days. There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days <laughs> What a great take. Parents. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Organic Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he's a huge car foiling the plans of the Oregon killer that made Madison want to help him. Our main headline today 
It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Banter. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey kid, I got you a new mum. Now that is what we call hey, open Dad. plan. I think I found my room. It's all one room, son. Oh. You stupid fucking idiot. <laughs> it's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. <laughs> Come back here, you little shit. Bye. What, what, what? On the cover of today's World Magazine this week, and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings. Is it going to be the dickhead the cop? Known Is it going to be the fuckhead cop? And save the life Please of don't be the fucko. Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Please, no. Norman Jaden. Oh, okay, it's the good one. Oh, thank God. I thought it, the way it wasn't showing who it was, I thought it was going to cut and it was going to be the fucking prick cop that had somehow taken the credit. And then I would have just had to shoot myself. Flush it down the loo, mate. Yes, at a boy, at a boy. I wonder if that's because I successfully prevented him from taking it in the couple of times I was given the opportunity. Probably, right? I see this as an absolute win. Man, I wonder if I could have saved uh, Lauren. That is the one thing bugging me about this playthrough is that I is that she drowned and I feel like I could have saved her. I just picked 50-50 the wrong button prompt. Like there was no way of knowing which one would have been the one. The fuck is happening here, sorry? Me becoming a game developer? <laughs> What? Huh? What? I don't understand. What? 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 How is he seeing that without the fucking super spy goggles? Whaty what? Also, who did that fucking rich dickhead's son kill? That's not really being delved into. He killed someone. He drowned someone. Is, oh, is that seriously the last thing we're going to get to see with Norman? The fucking FBI dude? Is that somehow he's now seeing the tech stuff without his glasses and then that's it?
I wonder how many possible outcomes there are, because obviously the David Cage games, there are always many branching paths. I imagine that there's there were a few points where it looked like uh, people could die if I'd fucked the quick times a bit. I wonder who could die in what situations. Feel free to let me know, because I'm never going to do a second playthrough, so... If, uh, if there's any interesting outcomes that you would like to let me know I about. I want to see them again. I'm a father too. Oh, shit. Well, there's another outcome. I... <laughs> what the fuck was going on with the FBI dude at the end? Damn, we could have just fucking beamed that. Wow, okay. Fuck me. Da 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 da. Wait, he was about to stop. What the fuck? He was going to do it with pliers and, like, smash it off instead of cut it? side tangent that was with Madison and the Doctor. That bit with Madison and the Doctor, like, looking back, that is so weird. Like, why did they just throw in an evil Doctor in there Stay who's back. cutting people up? Oh. Okay. Can we skip these? Not, not seeing a skip button. Okay, well, let's cut to the end and uh, we'll give last thoughts and wrap up. Okie dokie. Nothing, no extra thing at the end of the credits. Just uh, back to the old title screen. That was, you know what? It was better than I was expecting going in. Honestly, that is, that is what I will say. It wasn't fantastic. It was definitely nowhere near as good as Detroit Become Human, which I did genuinely thoroughly enjoy. Uh, but I don't think it was terrible. I don't think it was, it was, it wasn't great. I don't, I wouldn't go as far as to say it was bad. It was middling. We'll go with it was middling. The tank controls very frustrating and motion controls frustrating. Uh, I do wish you could move the characters around a bit faster. But, uh, you know, it was, it was a bit of a slow start, but it did actually start, it, it was, I did find it interesting, uh, further in. There was some weirdness, like, I, 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 what the fuck was going on with the FBI agent at the end? I am so confused about that. Uh, and I do wish it had been harder to figure out who did it, because I figured that out like halfway through and then was just... My opinions were then getting confirmed more and more until it was uh, proven right in the end. So I do wish it had been a little harder to figure out what was going on there. I feel like they did make that too obvious. But overall, I would say it was decent. I would say it was like a... 6 out of 10. It wasn't It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. I think a 6 is fairly fair. It's not something I would ever play again, but honestly, I think the fact that I had lower expectations going into it actually helped this one for me, because, uh, yeah, it was, it was alright. It was alright. Yeah, yeah, I mean, as early attempts go, it was, uh, yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> and that is my rambling over. I'm curious to see what they're going to do next, because it's been a good few years since uh, Detroit Become Human now. So they must be deep into development on uh, whatever whatever they're making next, which I will absolutely be playing day one, because, yeah, Detroit, as I said, was really good. Really did enjoy Detroit. And, uh, yeah, that is where we will leave it off for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is a Patreon link in the description. 
anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel and the buying of games, all that jazz. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, I will see you somewhere else for something new. Thanks for watching. See you then.